Hi everyone, welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video is an exciting one because first, there's a new setup. You can actually see my bookshelves behind me. You can see my yarn shelf if I turn around, some of my projects and stuff. This is just way better than anything that I had before, so I'm much happier with it. But what's more exciting about this video is I'm going to be pattern testing my first pattern ever. I'm actually going to be doing two patterns, so I'm going to be showing you through the process of me trying to pattern test, and I'm also going to be packing up an order that I received for a commission, so I'll show that off in a few minutes. But making a pattern is always something that I found to be like really intimidating until recently I had an idea to make something and it kind of just clicked. So now instead of making one pattern, I'm making two. So the first one that I'm going to be showing off in this video is actually for people who like the anime Jujutsu Kaisen. I have complicated feelings about that anime, but that is a topic for another time. I'm going to be making Gojo and I'm going to be making him wear his glasses as well as like holding like a little heart in front of him because it's almost Valentine's Day. So if he's holding a heart, it's like kind of on theme, you know, then the second pattern that I'm going to be showing off, I feel like a lot more people will be excited for this one for good reason. But let me go get it and I will show you in a second. We know her. We love her. The strawberry whale. I had this idea back in September, so I don't know how many months that is, like four or five months ago or something. And I never wrote a pattern for it because of what I said, just like writing up patterns and potentially making mistakes or not coming across the way that you want to is kind of intimidating. But I am finally getting around to doing it. So I'm making the strawberry whale but I am doing it different. So this is the size that we have now. The pattern that I'm actually going to be writing up is for this size whale. So way bigger than the original. There we go, we have like kind of a side-by-side -side comparison here. So it's going to be a jumbo strawberry whale, which I am so excited about. This is what we have so far. Um, I haven't put on the seeds yet. I haven't finished the flippers. We have one flipper on. That's something else that I changed. I'm outlining the flipper in white so that it kind of like the combo kind of goes better through the flipper. But I'm really excited for this one. I'm probably going to be looking for pattern testers. So I'll be putting out a call in my Discord and on my Instagram. So do make sure that you either join my Discord or you follow my Instagram. I'll probably be putting out the call first on my Discord. I'll be putting like a priority in my Discord and then I'll move over to Instagram. So if you want to pattern test my Gojo or my Strawberry, then do look out for that. And if you're seeing this video months after I've posted it, then hopefully that means that these patterns are now for sale on my Etsy store. But let's get to pattern testing. Okay, so it's the next day. I didn't end up recording as much as I wanted to yesterday because honestly, the tail fins on the whale ended up being a lot more like trial and error than I expected it to be. I had like one idea and it didn't work out, so I needed to pivot to something else, but I think I'm happy with how it turned out. Look at her. Oh my god, it is so large and chunky and soft. I love her so much. And here is a size comparison again 
from my original strawberry whale so definitely she's much bigger now but yeah so i think this will end up being the final pattern so like i said we added a little white border here i did change how the tail fins look from the original whale and i've added all like the little strawberry seeds throughout this pattern is like very easy, beginner friendly and everything. I will say the most annoying part about this is adding all the strawberry seeds. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I add way more than I probably should. You definitely don't need to add this many seeds for it to look like a strawberry. But yeah, I think this is the finished product, which means I actually have to start writing the pattern now so that I can get it to all of you guys soon. So next, I need to pack up this really cute commission that I made for one of my friends. Let me go get it really quick to show you. But I did want to take a second to say that if you're liking the video so far, then please like and subscribe because it really helps my small channel a lot. And it helps me know that I'm not speaking into the void. So that's nice too. Okay, here it is such a little fancy raccoon so this is for one of my friends who mods my live streams he asked for a raccoon that is wearing a little bow tie and a top hat and i love how it came out so much and i'm so excited for it to arrive at my friend's house so let's go ahead and get it packed up i will put the pattern link in the description i use the wonder crochets pattern kind of loosely like mine obviously looks way different from hers, but that's the pattern that I use. So let's get him all ready to go. Okay, so the raccoon is all packed up and ready to go now. So I'm going to start working on my second pattern, which is the Gojo character. So this is what I have so far. I've made the head and the body and the little arms, but I am also making it in like a blanket yarn form because this pattern is a bit more in depth than the strawberry whales. So I want to make sure that it works with like different kinds of yarn and everything. I don't think I'll be able to get this pattern out as quickly as I wanted to because there's still a few things that I need to test out like his sunglasses. And I've also never done hair before on any project. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll figure it out together. So the strawberry whale pattern will probably be out first. I also got this like shimmery blue nail polish. I'm not sure that the shimmer is like really coming through on the camera, but if you're familiar with the character, he has these very like striking blue eyes. So I'm going to put a few coats of this nail polish on some safety eyes and see how that turns out. But yeah, so I'm gonna start sewing all of these parts together and then I will check back in once I have an update. It's a couple hours later and I took a break. I had some lunch, which by the way, if you're a crocheter, then this is your reminder to take a lot of breaks because your hands and your wrists will definitely thank you long-term. So make sure you do that, take your breaks. But anyways, here's what I have so far. It's starting to look more like a little person. I got the little arms, the body and the head. And then the heart is gonna go like right there in the middle once I sew it on. I also made 
these eyes, I put the nail polish on the safety eyes. And I think it's a really, really good shade of blue for this character. I actually really love it. So I'm very happy with the nail polish that I got. Also, I have it on a piece of styrofoam because I found that safety eyes just kind of roll around if you leave them on your desk. And this needs to dry for a really long time. So I just like stick it into some styrofoam to make sure that it's safe and it can like stay on my desk overnight and I don't accidentally hit it or anything. I'm sure there's like a better way to do this to keep them safe, but this is just what works for me. So I guess it's a little tip if you're in a pinch. So while I was sewing on everything onto the body, I actually decided that I think I'm going to skip out on the sunglasses for now because I don't really know how to make it look good, so I might just add it in as like a free mod to the pattern in the future. For right now, I actually really want the eyes to be like the main feature of the face anyways, so it's fine to like skip out on the sunglasses for now. I'll add it in sometime later. So I'm gonna get started on trying to make the hair now. He has white hair, so I'm going to do my best to make his hair look good and I will check in again soon. Also, I wanted to quickly mention if you're really into books like I am, or maybe you want to read like a little intro to fantasy book or something like that, Please pick up this book because it is so good. It's Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. It's like, it's not too high stakes fantasy. So it's perfect for like dipping your toes into fantasy. Or if you love fantasy like I do, then this is also great. It has like all the wholesome, cozy vibes that you would want without like super high stakes or anything. And I just love this book so much. And I just had to shout it out really quick because I'm probably gonna be talking about books every now and again. So let me know if you want me to do some more of these recommendations because I would love to do them. But yeah, that is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. Please check it out. <laughs> Hi everyone, we've made it to the end of this crochet vlog. I'm gonna be totally honest, uh, something came up yesterday, so I didn't really make any more progress on Gojo. This is what we have. I basically just added the eyes to his face. The heart still isn't sewn on, but I'm going to keep working on him after this video. So the pattern should be done in a couple weeks or so, but the tester call for the strawberry whale is going to be out in just a few days, hopefully, so keep an eye out for that in the links in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know if there's anything else that you want me to do next, but I will see you again soon. Goodbye.